Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will draw this drawing in 3D and then we will do the dimensioning over this one. So let's start. For going to 3D, you have to simply click here. I'm already in 3D modeling. So you change, you can, but cursor is still on 2D. If you click this home symbol here, now our view changed to isometric view. So let's start. Save it and dimension is 38. So this is basically 38 by 38. Thirty eight, thirty eight, thirty eight. We have to go up thirty eight, thirty eight, thirty eight. Now, when we draw a circle here, is orientation is top view so we have to change it into the front so for this we have to change UCS this is the UCS symbol here either you can click here or you can simply type here UCS select I will select this is my first point this point then my X is on right side and up is Y is here now we shall circle. It's perfectly matching now. For extrusion, we have to make it single entity. Right now it is for different parts. How we can do that? Type command reg region select and select this for not a single entity. Same way here, we have to make single entity reg region select single entity. For extrusion, we have to click here, select this one, enter, and height is 11 mm. You can see here it is 11 mm. Same way here, extrusion, select, enter, and 11 mm. Now we have to draw a rib in between. So it is 8 mm down and 8 mm that side. Let's draw this one. Here, this one also we have to make region single entity for this again region select these three items make it single we will ex extrude this one 8 mm and now we have to move this 4 mm that side so our 3d drawing is model let's go to here and go to shader one you can see we successfully model 3d drawing click or it you can rotate anywhere You can go here south asymmetric view southwest. Right now it is three different entities one, two, and three. We have to make it one 
for that we have a command union u n i o n select and select this one this one that one enter so now it is single entity here orbit now we have to do the dimensioning of this one we have to change the drafting setting make it 30 text set 5 size so so text color is i will give blue line this is red let's make it green arrow size i will give three and precision i will change to zero we have to come back to this one now we have to do the dimensioning for dimensioning, we have to change the UCS. And use dim aligned, dimension aligned. You see, it's not properly changed. Wire frame. Dim line here this one, this one. Again we will change the UCS. And this is the 38 dimensional line again we have to change the UCS Eight mm. Again, we have to change the UCS for vertical. Again, dam align. This one thirty eight. Let's change UCS first, this one and that one. And them align. C 
ambient demo line here and we have to change uses for this one also And this is eight. Can you see for this one also? And demo line like this one, and this one thirty eight. Yeah, thirty eight. We have to give vertical dimension this one 11 mm change UCS this one to that one in demo line this to this this is 11 mm in change the UCS Demo line middle of this, middle of this eight mm in this way we can do the dimensioning. Dimensioning is a little bit tricky part in 3D, but by changing the UCS you can change the dimensioning. If you didn't get anything, just comment below. I will try to reply you. Thanks.